Good morning, everyone. It's the 15th of January at just a little bit after 8 o'clock in the morning. Here's the view. The sun's just coming up. It's a beautiful red sky. Um, and here where we, here's where we are. We are in Carrickburn Hill Forest Recreation Area. I'll take you up to the little map here. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show us the uh, the walk up Carrickburn Hill and around. Uh, just to let you know, this is all free. Another one of the walks you could do. I'll put in the, the, the link and I'll show right up here. The uh, distance from Wexford Town, it's about 15 minutes, about halfway from Wexford Town to New Ross. And uh, it's very easy to get to. It has public parking. It's free, your picnic area, and and then we're going to get up there. Here's the, uh, the sign for Carrickburn Hill. I'll put up the, this as well. I have a copy of that to show you what you can do. It's not a huge, huge walk. Um, it's about a, an hour walking time. It's about 4.6 kilometers. Um, I got my friend here from uh, Syria who's going to... Who, uh, graciously uh, volunteered to drive me to go do this. Yesterday I wasn't able to do any vlog because I had commitments with the uh, Wexford Lions Club. Um, so today we're going to do that. Um, please make sure that you uh, subscribe to my channel. We're growing. We're, we're, we're doing really well. I started in August 11th and we're getting up there but I just want to uh, try to keep it growing. I'm going to be doing the Kilmore Key. Somebody suggested there's a link bus that goes from Wexford Town to Kilmore Key. I'll be doing that shortly and I am going to be, I got another request to do Kilkenny and then we still have the Tintern uh, Abbey walk and um, also the Hook Lighthouse. So we're doing that. So here's my buddy Wael. Say hi to Wael. Hi everybody. Now we'll take a walk up and we'll see what this trail has to offer for us. It's a nice frosty morning here. It's about two degrees. Um, but the uh, good part is it's sunny out. The sun's coming up and it's not raining. It's not windy too. No. No, there's no wind, and the path is pretty, pretty easy on the feet. Like I said, these are all things that you can do when, if you, when you come to Wexford, you know, and it's a, it's a grade that's not too hard. So if you have small kids in that, you can bring them along, have a picnic. Now it's a historic site uh, for the 1798 rebellion as well. Um, there's a camp spot where they had camped and prepared for when they went to attack the, uh, the town of New Ross. Well, that's why I wanted to have this channel to show all the, first off all the things in Wexford and stuff that is around that even people that live here might not have seen so this way they can take a look and see if it interests them and if it does then they can come out here handy 
walking stick today, first time. One of my subscribers gave it to me from Timon Walk, Tony. So thank you, Tony, for that. There's an opening here. You can see a little bit around you. Someone's big house there. There's a little walkway in that. And I think this can go down towards the road we came in on. A little bridge. Probably goes to their own property, so they probably made that themselves. All right. And there's a the little sign, the yellow arrow. That's what we're following right now. Basically it says 98, it's the camp anyways, RE, oh Rebel, 98 Rebel Camp. So this is where they camped during the 1798 rebellion before they sacked New Ross. 
Okay, so like I said, it's the Rebel Camp, and now you're at a fork in a road, so it's the Purple Trail or the Yellow Trail. So I will go up the Yellow, I think. It's a little bit more inclined. I think this one takes us to a viewpoint. Anyways, yes. like I said, it gives you different options when you're taking a walk. And there's a, if you want to drive a little bit farther out of town, out of Wexford to the south, you go to Tintern Abbey. It's about a, I'd say about a half an hour drive. And it's a beautiful walkway. They even have little cafes stationed inside the woods. And it has three different routes. So you have a small, intermediate, and a long route. And it's very, very nice. And it's free of charge. There is a tour of the Abbey itself that's available during the week at a small price, but uh, you can do that for free just as long as you can get there. During the summertime last year, the Wexford Local Links had a bus that went all the way to Hook Lighthouse and it stopped at Tintern Abbey, so that is an option. It was a 20 euro same day return, which is very reasonable. The Hook Lighthouse is about a a good, it's a good hour drive from Wexford Town. Here's where the encampment was. So that other sign was just directing us to it. Here's actually where they camped. The top of Carrick Burn Hill. The sun's just coming up right in our face. It's a beautiful day now. It's starting to get warm. Plus, I guess the walking helps too. Like I said, when I started this morning, it was two degrees. I'd say it's probably about eight degrees now. It's a beautiful wooded area to walk through. Looking at the path and the footings, it's very, very sure footing all throughout the path. So if anyone's into like cross country running and adventure running, it'd be an excellent place to train. You know, there's some hills, inclines and declines and, you know, and it's set out how many kilometers it is. So it'd be definitely a, a good place to come to if you are inclined to doing cross country running. <music>
have the, uh, the car park where we started off. He said it's a very enjoyable hike. Walk around the mount the hill of uh, Carrickburn. Highly recommended. It's a beautiful day on a Sunday in Wexford, County Wexford. <laughs>